Hey guys, Michael here again from GuitarGate.com and I want to build on our last triad lesson by showing you how you can voice lead a simple 145 just knowing your basic triad shapes. Now a 145 is the basis of so much music. It's just silly. It's basically everywhere. But it gets very boring and very repetitive and not that interesting if you always just play the root in the bass. If you're always just, you know, Now, especially if you have two guitar players in the band, or if you want to voice lead, you want a different bass line, but you still want the function of a 1-4-5. The 1 being home, the 4 being the subdominant going away from home, and the 5 being the dominant which wants to come back home, right? If you still want that sound, that function, but you want a different bass line, you want different inversions, or you want a different part if someone's already laying down that big chunky part, learning your inversions for your triads is exactly standard operating procedure. It's what everybody does. It sounds great. I'm going to show you a simple descending line, which you'll find in all kinds of music. Basically everything. Check this out. So in A, there's my triad. I have A in the bass, right? You can look at it like this. Now I'm going to go to my five chord, which is E. But instead of doing this big E, I'm going to make my bass line descend one fret, and I'm going to play G sharp in the bass, which is the third of E, and then play the B and E on top. This is your first inversion, meaning third in the bass instead of the root, major scale chord shape on your four, three, and two strings. So again, you have one, five, you want to go down to four. Right, there's four, back up to five. You hear that? That's the same move as. You just have different bass notes. Put the bass in the sixth string. This is common. The first song that it's common in everything, but the first song that comes to mind in doing this is uh, "Wonderful Tonight" by Eric Clapton. It, he does it in G, where it's like, Right? We all know that sound. The point being is you can achieve a simple 1-4-5 without playing the root in the bass all the time. And you'll find, if you start working on becoming an active listener, that the guitar parts, triad uses, the inversions usually match the bass line parts. That's how you avoid clashing, and that's how you make things interesting. And you'll find that that is usually what makes the song. When you hear a song, you're like, man, that's so simple but it sounds so good. It's not beefy, it's not chunky, it's not big jumps, it sounds so close, it sounds so melodic, right? Like Wonderful Tonight, that's why. It's because you're voice leading with your triads. Again, if you're unfamiliar with these triad shapes, please come check out GuitarGate.com where I have tons of lessons on all of these, and I will see you guys next time. Good luck.